So we're going to be working through your core. When you do this exercise, if you're doing it right, it will feel really hard. If, it's, if it feels like it's a little bit too easy, then maybe you're missing the mark. You just need to focus in on what muscles you're working. So with core activation, what you should do is reference from two points. So I'm going to lie down on my back, putting one hand in my lower back, and then the other hand just Find your hip bone, go in a centimetre and down a centimetre. What you want to feel when you get good core activation is that your stomach is lowering. It should feel like you're pressing pressure into this hand that's in your lower back. This hand, you should feel like you get skinnier. So lift through your pelvic floor as well. It should feel like you've got a, a corset of muscles that are working so everything should feel really really tight so what we're going to do once you get that position you want to keep it nice and strong and we're going to slide your legs out and then back in so with this exercise you will be alternating sides now your aim is to get to 20 reps where you feel that that is relatively easy. That's your level one. Once you get to that point, we'll go up to level two to make it a little bit harder. So this is where you start to lift your legs up and lower down. Just make sure as you're lowering that you don't lose the core activation. And what that would feel like if you lose it is you'll feel your lower back arch you might feel that your stomach muscles pop up a little bit. Just make sure that you draw down and keep that activation. Then if you're wanting to go up to the third level and make it really, really hard, we're gonna start off here and then lowering down both legs. So breathe out, keep your abs really, really tight and then come back. So the whole time you maintain that core activation, it should feel really hard, but it's great for getting really good stomach toning results.